friends. Welcome back to another episode of Two Idiot Girls. Ooh. Just the regulars today. Yeah. Sans boring old us. Uh, sorry. They're like, you should have on every week. No, it's my show. <laughs> Uh, the magic's in the two of us. So I'm, it's called Two Idiot Girls, not Two Idiot Girls and Guest. So, And whatever that guy's name is, yeah. We will for sure have more guests. I know. Some of your faves, y'all have been commenting, we're already getting ready to start scheduling them. But again, yeah. to temper expectations, as my therapist tells me every Tuesday at 9 a.m., <laughs> we will do one guest a month. That is our goal. Yeah, that's our starter goal. Yeah. And we already have... Outside of the off wall of cinematic universe. We have friends that we have other creator friends mm-hmm. who I'm sure you know and I've heard of that have um told us how much they would love to be on the show too. So it will include and guest, but not every week. Not every week. Yeah, you guys are stuck with boring old us. That's what the comment section shows for. <laughs> No shit, huh? You want to watch guests go over there. Literally. Week. That's why I said. But watch us first on Tuesdays and then watch them on Wednesdays. <laughs> yeah, though. There you go. Chronological yeah. order. So. And then two hot takes on Thursdays. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> it's the perfect recipe. Yeah. Look at us. Look at us. Look at us. Who would have thought? Yeah. Speaking of that, we're filming this in the past. Yes. Technically. You will be seeing this in the future. Yeah. <laughs> Hello? Because we're going to a really fun event tomorrow. Yes, the Oscars. I am hosting for the Academy TikTok. The uh, Academy. I'm sure it went great. <laughs> Let oh, me know. Man. All those awards. Man. They look at the dresses. What if I made a prediction and it came true and then I was like, I was time jumping. Like when people like predict the Super Bowl or they look at the Simpsons. Yeah, like, predict, like-, like the octopus that picks the winner for the FIFA. <laughs> World Cup, that's me. It's you. <laughs> Who do you think's gonna win? Who's taking it home? We're manifesting. You don't want to pick? No. <laughs> I don't want to pick because uh, I feel like I don't know enough, and I'm man enough to say it. I really hope I. I was, I'm sure everyone does. I really hope everything, everywhere, all at once takes it home. Sweeps. And I really hope Stephanie Shu wins Best Supporting Actress. Not yes. that I thought Jamie Lee was not as good. I just really loved Stephanie's performance. In yes, the movie. and I did see that movie. <laughs> <laughs> I know everyone makes fun of me because I don't watch anything new, but I did watch that movie. Mm. Ten out of the ten, very good. Very, so very. I'm good. hoping that cast and even the writers and directors. I hope they they, they take sweep. a full sweep. Yeah, yeah, that would be awesome. Awesome. Yeah. And they deserve it. The movie was impeccable. It was mm-hmm. so good. So layered, too. I know. I was like, there are so many running themes in this movie that, like, there's truly something for everyone in that movie. Yeah. It's crazy. And um, they said, too, like, when they were getting ready to write it and stuff, that they, yeah. they only wanted Michelle Yeoh to play the main character. And it's funny because one of her, spoiler alert, <laughs> for one of her, uh, one of her universes like she it's was her herself. being a movie star yeah, yeah it was, it was, it was being, clips of her yeah well and like her from the past like in all the movies she's yeah. been in. yeah it's fucking nuts i was like telling you i'm like that's her real life yeah that's crazy and it must have been very emotional i can only imagine yeah like imagining what your life would have been like had you not done that you know what i mean yeah that's why like i was like hoping i'd be wiped up by last halloween because i wanted to be the lesbian couple with the hot dog fingers with someone that's funny but it didn't work out and that's okay <laughs> And I told Billy, I was like, oh my gosh, that's so funny. Like, they're um, a couple in that universe. Yeah. With the most ridiculous hot dog circumstances. Yeah. Um, very, very good. I I will say I have seen more movies for this Oscars than I have in the past. <laughs> I wonder why. No, no, just by happenstance. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and, and then I just so happened to get hired. Sure. But like, like, I've seen Elvis. Wakanda Forever. Wakanda Forever. I hope, yeah. Everything, everywhere all at once. I've uh-huh. seen that. I saw the Pinocchio. Um, oh, yeah. And I think that's all I've seen. You saw one more than me. <laughs> <laughs> In that movie, it's a musical and they have accents, but there's this song called Papa because that's what Pinocchio calls the dad. Yeah. And the way he says Papa is so funny. <laughs> I was laughing the whole time watching it. It was really, it was kind of creepy, but it was really cute too. <laughs> <laughs> so anywho, um, I'm sure I did great. Who do you think's going to walk the carpet and want to kiss you the most? Fuck if I know. Everyone. I hope that everyone, I hope that there's at least one mm-hmm. 
really big celebrity that has seen me at some point. Ooh, yeah. Not necessarily knows me, uh-huh. but like has seen me and maybe like is kind of familiar with what I do. Yeah. That would be awesome. Well, I think Paul Mescal knows who you are. I'm convinced. He does because he said, yeah, and he loves me. And I don't. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Paul. Like, I'm sure we'll meet and have a good time. But like, I had no idea who he was. <laughs> All respect to this man. I've never seen this man never. before in my life. Yeah. He's like, I do not know who this man is. <laughs> the way Kiki Palmer is such an icon and a legend. I like, hope you get. To, I, oh, she just had a baby. I, yeah, I doubt so. she'll be there. But I wish you get. To, I hope you get to meet her And she's day. a Virgo. That's a movie we wish got nominated was no. Nope. Yes. That was one of the. I she's think. a Virgo. And not only is she a Virgo, but she's also a Virgo that thinks she knows the most about signs and she's admitted to being a know it all. Me. Literally me. She is really good at her. And she's edit. hilarious. Yeah, she's really good at it. Though. Literally me. And she's a star. Anyways, and now a new mom. But yeah, Paul, <laughs> Paul Viscal, like, <laughs> I'm sure you're nice. I'm sure we're going to have fun. <laughs> I just, he like, he literally was like, oh, I love her. I would yeah. love to. Like I was talking to Carrie and I was telling her cool. about how he was excited to meet you. Or yeah, something. yeah. And she was like, oh my gosh, have you watched Normal People? So I'm telling you, this is a That's show. That's the book, right? It's a, And it's a show. That I got turned into a... Yeah, okay. a show. And I want to say it came out during the pandemic. I don't really remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, it's him and then that girl, You're not, it's Daisy Ridley Jones. You're not going to know who... Oh, wait. Wait. <gasps> I just said her name wrong. It's I think it's Daisy something. It's not Daisy Ridley. That's who I'm thinking of. I was going to say... From Star Wars. From Star Wars, I know her. No, it's Daisy Edgar Jones. That's her name. Okay. Um. And they're both in the show. I started it. It was a little bit slow. That's why I never finished it. But everyone yeah. says they like it. So I told Carrie, told me, you have to watch that. And then she'll watch Fleabag, which is one of my favorite shows. What? <laughs> I just thought of something so funny. What? So Paul Mescal. Uh-huh. And Logan Lerman. Is that the guy from Percy Jackson? Yeah. And there's one other guy. And they all look the same? I thought they were the same person. Like, I thought they were all Logan Lerman but they are not Logan Lerman. for those of you that don't know, is from perks of being a wallflower. He was also in that movie. Who, no, I who remembers see, that one? I see the guy's face in my head, but I don't know his name. What has he been in? And I'll name it. I don't remember. He's, he's like, they gave Drew a literal book of everyone that's coming. And I know every single person in there. I was like, Oh, this guy, I did will this say, too. I know a good majority. No, I know. I'm not saying them. she doesn't know any of them, but I'm saying I know way too much. This is just the way my brain retains information. It refuses to hold on to celebrities. I also think, too, because you watch the same two shows, <laughs> yeah, yeah. or three if you count Friends, that that's why your brain can't retain new things, because you watch the same three things. If the cast of New Girl was there, I'm in there. <laughs> you know what I mean? I know all of them. I know all about Even them. Even guest stars, like, I wouldn't know who's guest star. If they showed me five people, they're like, who's been on an episode of the New Girl? I probably wouldn't be able to guess. I could name a few, yeah. Well, I mean Prince. That's the only one I can think of. Prince. Of my head. <laughs> Me forgetting their names. Megan Fox was one of oh, them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck, what's that guy's name that's like... <laughs> oh, it played- wasn't Jamie Lee Curtis in it? Yeah, she plays the mom. Yeah. Um, fuck, what's the name of that guy? He was in college... Not college dropout. The one that's like, Ask Me About My Wiener. Remember that show? Oh, um, you're thinking of Justin Long? Yes, yes. You I think kept, he looks like those two men? No, no. Oh, okay. I was just saying he was another returning yes, character. Right, yeah. I thought I was trying to Accepted. Say, I, I almost called- said Joseph Gordon. <laughs> Jesus Different Christ. guy. Different no, guy. I need to know that guy's name. He has like a he has like a pretty prominent forehead, white okay. guy. He has freckles on the face. He has like um like uh, almond eyes. <laughs> fuck what's his name he has like a buzz hair someone get like a crime scene like sketch artist here. <laughs> he, has, he has like a buzzed haircut in some of the stuff he's been in but most of it's just like a close shave okay can you name anything he's been in no he's always like a son or like a brother like in every movie <laughs> do you want me to look up fuck, handsome you white guys, guy you guys will know who i'm talking about please for the love of god somebody find should it. i just look up handsome white man He's, I wouldn't call him handsome, I guess. Uh, they're just models. I don't know any handsome You gotta do like Hollywood, man. like like actors. Fuck. I'm trying to think of some of these. White actors. <laughs> I think he's like in his mid to late 20s. I'm, oh, Chris Evans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> Timothy Chalamet, that's his name. Is it okay. Rami Malik? No, I know who Rami Malik Rami Malik's not white. Okay, well, they put him in here. I don't think he's white. Rami Malik, I robot. He also played the one who controlled the elements in Twilight. Are you talking about Freddie Mercury? 
No one was talking about Rami Malek. No, that's a character that he's played. He played oh, that's Fred- right. That's right. Dude. <laughs> I, thought you meant Dude. The, I thought you meant the real Come Freddie on. Mercury. I thought Jesus you meant the real Christ. Freddie Mercury. You're going to know all these men, like Channing Tatum, Tom Holland, Chris Hemsworth. I know all those guys, yeah. Is he like a newer actor? No, he's been around for a minute. Well, Chris Pine. Oh, you guys know who it's like. He literally looks <laughs> like, like Paul Mescal. Like, that's who I thought it was. Do you want to type in Paul Mescal lookalike? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. I want to say his name's like Dylan or something. Dylan O'Brien? No, I know who that is. Teen Wolf. Are you kidding me? Maze Um, Runner. Famous men named Dylan. Should I just do that? (laughs) (laughs) I think his name's Dylan. I'm like... Dylan Sprouse? I'm just kidding. No. Dylan Minnette from... Let me see. Let me see. From 13 Reasons Why. Yes. (laughs) Yes. <laughs> yes, that's him. Yes. That's He's him. in wa- the band Wallows. Yeah, oh, okay. That doesn't mean anything to me. But you yeah. know the band Wallows. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Let me look. I at don't him. think that's him. He, no, no, that is him. That is him. Okay. He's also had a shaved head. He's also had a shaved head. 13 Reasons Why. I said that. You just six said that. Times. You just said that. Yeah. But he's on the front cover. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking of. Okay. I thought him, <laughs> Paul Mescal, and Logan Lerman were the same person. They don't look alike at all. I thought they were all Logan Lerman. Like <laughs> ever. You and know I, what? I'll give you that. They all have brown hair and blue eyes and they're all white. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah That's why yeah. when I thought you thought Justin Long was like them. I'm like, he's been around way longer. No, I know Justin Long. I just kept forgetting his name. But like <laughs> I remember when 13 Reasons Why came out. In well, my, here, you're not gonna see Dylan Minnette or Logan Lerman, just Paul Mescal. So okay. you're good. You're good. Uh, woo. <laughs> No, when when Thirteen Reasons Why came out and that photo of him on the yeah. front and the the things are you thought it was Logan Lerman? Yeah, I kept in my head. I kept going, "Oh, the show with Logan Lerman." Like every time he brought it up, I'd be like, "The show with Logan Lerman." In no, my head. Logan Lerman was in uh, Perks of Being a Wallflower. No, I know that. Okay, but I just for some you know reason, that, but <laughs> oh, sure. <laughs> for some reason, I just thought they were all Logan Lerman, dude. You know? Everyone talks about Dylan Minnette in Thirteen Reasons Why. Why does no one talk about that? Alexander had a very terrible bad day. That movie with Steve. Carell. Oh, that's right. He plays the older brother. That movie is so funny. See what I mean? Always a brother. Yeah. See what I mean? Like, and a son, like, a son of sorts. You're right. See? So my description wasn't that far he, off. You don't know the band Wallows? No, I do, but like I couldn't pick them out of a lineup. You know what I'm saying? No, I know. But when I said he's in the band Wallows, you said, what does that mean? To I me? said that doesn't mean anything to me because I couldn't identify any of those people. How many are in there for? This Five? is like one of the mo- one of the more ridiculous things you've ever said. on the show. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. That was pretty bad. You know what it feels like? It feels like um, like Julian. Yeah not, knowing, yeah. not knowing the difference between like Julia and Hathaway, <laughs> Julia Roberts. And, and um, I forget the other one. Sandra Bullock. <laughs> See, his was worse because they look nothing alike. These men don't look anything alike. He kind of looks like Paul Mescal. He he does. But, That's what I mean. But Logan Lerman does not. <laughs> <laughs> so no. Maybe I just thought young, famous white guy Logan Lerman. You know what I'm saying? Like I just associate like Logan Lerman was in Bullet Train. No, I didn't watch Bullet Train. You didn't? No. Oh, it was really funny. I haven't seen it. Highly yet. recommend. I Bad Boonies in it. Yeah, but everybody hates him now. So happens Cow-a-bummer. to the best of us. Happens Cow-a-bummer. to the best of us. Uh, do you have yeah. anything else? Who are other white people you mix up? Maybe that's the theme, really. <laughs> Those are the only three. It's just, it's like it's men who look like that. Okay, I will never, ever in a million years be able to pick you out. Like, yeah, unless you become my friend, then I will like know you. But, yeah, but or like he's in the new girl, then she'll definitely know you. <laughs> <laughs> you get a spot in that show, revive it. You're locked up here forever. <laughs> I feel like that's what I'm saying. It's like younger white men. I have a really hard time in Hollywood sure. distinguishing. That's right. I've been getting a lot of hate comments on my one of my videos from yeah. men, and they all look the same. That's what I'm saying. It's like cut paste, cut paste, yeah. cut paste. It's like uh, this guy wrote. Oh, also, you're you should add to your list your 500 pounds. And then I went to his, his page, and he has nothing but videos of him doing tricks on a scooter. And then I just commented, "Dog, the scooter videos on your page so sick." All caps. There you go. No See? response. No response. That's one time someone wrote that you're like 600 pounds. And I put, you think I'm 600 pounds. <laughs> and then he wrote just about, and I go, I want you to say with your whole chest that you think I'm 600 pounds. Mm-hmm. And he goes, I just fucking hate you. Like, there you go. 
You know what I mean? Like, it just means that I'm like, you think I'm 600 pounds. Yeah. And it's only men. So, so a lot of them I'm starting to write, I think you're ugly. And you like, I'm only attracted to like 5% of men and you're not one of them. And I think you're ugly. And that's a bummer for you. 5% is still a lot of the world's population and you're not even in there. Even then, like, if you look at the other 95% <laughs> of me being gay. No, nah, not even. I'm close. not that's interested why I said it was never going to say. That's why I've said like. Well, I think you're ugly too. So I guess it works out for us. Yeah. And then they get mad. Yeah. They're like, you're not allowed to say that to me. I disagree. But they all look like copy paste white men. Yeah. Logan. Lawrence. (laughs) (laughs) Just kidding. Don't ever disrespect him like that. They they wish they looked like Logan. I'm just kidding. Logan Lerman. (laughs) You seem like a nice guy. And you know, I thought your performance in Percy Jackson was revered. (laughs) Was Shut that up. That wasn't a joke. I really did like those movies. The first one was really good. Yeah. The rest. Yeah. The rest. There was only one more. <laughs> <laughs> that first one, though. I tell you what. I still think about it. What. We quoted it the last movie. Wasn't Alexandra Daria or whatever her last name is? Yeah. Um, Daria. Yeah. She was in that one, too. Right. Percy mm-hmm. Jackson. She was also a new girl. Nice. And. There's a bit in there where Winston goes, I like your whole vibe. Like you got, you got spooky witch eyes. I really like that. (laughs) (laughs) And as a big, big eye bitch myself, it's really nice to see yourself represented in media. Yeah. Anyway, remember when she was in Baywatch? Remember that movie? That movie was kind of funny. It was camp. Yeah. It was nothing more than that. You know what I mean? (laughs) It was never going to be nominated for an award. No, absolutely not. Was Zac Efron in that movie? Yeah. In the Rock. Rock. Yeah. Yeah. What a cast. Yeah, he was the punk. Bring back cinema like that. Cinema hasn't been the same since then. That's why, like, you know, all this, like, hoopla about Black Adam. Let me tell you something. The movie was camp. It was fun. It was silly. Uh, 95% of it was obviously the fact that he was someone and I fucked with it. That's all we cared about. Yeah. And, like, you know, I felt like that was the first movie I'd ever seen him in where it wasn't, like, I'm big. You know what I mean? Like, And they didn't, like, force him to play a certain role because he is a big dude. Um, Baywatch, he was fucking, I'm big. Look at me. I'm big. You yeah. know what I mean? Like that's where all his roles are in, but I just feel like it's camp. Let's, you know what I mean? Let's giggle. Yeah. It's not, it doesn't need to be <laughs> awarded anything, yeah. but we can still enjoy it. I want to have fun. What's yeah. wrong with that? <laughs> Make movies fun again. That's yeah. what I want. Like Hobbs and Shaw. We talk about the movie all the time. So funny. Hilarious. So Bring that fu- back. So fucking funny. Bring like, back the buddy comedies. I'm living yeah, for them. Slapstick humor. Yeah. That's right. Just like Carl's Jr. He only does one thing, but he and does he's great it well. at it. He does it well. Give him his flowers for doing what it is he does best. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> and I've always said that. And I've always said that. All right, friends, we're going to take a quick little break with our friends at ZocDoc. So I personally don't really enjoy uh, booking my doctor's appointments because it always takes too long and it's really scary. But I'm also like way too old to have my mom make my appointments. So I'm super excited that we're partnering with ZocDoc. So ZocDoc is the only free app that lets you find and book doctors who are patient reviewed, take your insurance, are available when you need them and treat almost every condition under the sun. I really, really love the patient review portion because it reminds me of Amazon where I always read the reviews before I buy anything because I want to make sure that I'm buying something that fits my needs. It also reminds me of, I don't know if in college, if this still exists, it existed when I went to college where they did um, like rate my professor. So you could see if their teaching style is, you know, going to fit the way that you learn. Very similar with ZocDoc. I want to make sure the doctors that I'm booking, especially as a woman, fit my needs and I want to make sure that I'm comfortable. So make sure you go to ZocDoc.com slash two idiot girls and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top rated doctor today. Many are available within 24 hours. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash two idiot girls. ZocDoc.com slash two idiot girls. Now back to the episode. Okay, so for this week, this is a great transition. We're doing restaurant hot takes part two. <laughs> but yeah. Speaking of. Speaking of. Yeah. Um, a lot of people have commented, and I'm telling you right now, that we've seen the comments. You don't need to write it anymore. About what? That Canes has a honey mustard. Okay, well, that must be new because They said I, you have to ask. They wrote it like, like you're an idiot, not me. You. <laughs> you. Okay, let me ask you this. Is it Mardi Gras mustard equivalent? From Popeyes? No, get the fuck out of my face. Then I don't want to talk. Someone said it tastes like liquid metal. So, well, there you go. Why would I order that? How about I just don't go there? Yeah. How about burn it to the ground? 
<laughs> just kidding. Start over. Yeah. How about throw it in the trash? Start over. But okay, you have honey mustard. What if I don't like either of those? That's what I'm saying. I want ranch. Dude, you don't have ranch. I'm not going, dude. I I can't even eat. We talked enough. about how much we liked Popeyes in the last episode, and I fucking love Popeyes. But that Mardi Gras mustard, I don't know what the fuck they put in that shit. But I'm trying to I'm trying to get the secret formioli. <laughs> I'm trying to get that shit. You know, it's what was, so good. I got this mustard from Trader Joe's. It's dill pickle mustard. It's so good. Highly recommend. I bet that's what they make Mardi Gras mustard out of. No, because it's got a little spice to it. Oh, that's no, what I like about it. Ew. But I remember whenever this is why, like, okay, I love DoorDash. DoorDash, if you ever see this, you're probably one of my most used apps. Me too. But when we're gonna be like, we can tell, huh? Yeah, they're gonna be like, yeah, that's why you're 500 pounds. <laughs> When uh when you DoorDash Popeyes, it's it's a fucking scam. They never, 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 ever, ever, ever put the sauce in there. And one time I had a really bad day, and that's all I wanted was yeah. Popeyes. And then we got it and it got delivered to the house, and there was no sauce, and I literally cried. I cried myself to sleep. That's how fucking mad I was. I've done that before. So I was so fucking upset. Like, just like one time I ordered food after a really bad day, too. This is like way later. Mm -hmm. And I was we were staying in a hotel and it got delivered to the last hotel I was at. Oh. So he put it in front of the wrong door and I said, hey, you delivered it to the wrong hotel. Mm -hmm. And he just he started typing and then never responded. And I go, are you just going to leave my food there? And then he never responded. I go, hello. And he just never responded. And then I cried myself to sleep that night, too. Dude, sometimes because I'm at Jerry's house a lot, sometimes yeah. I'll forget to change my address on DoorDash, even though it should do it for me. Sometimes meaning all the time, <laughs> like literally all the fucking time. So much so that I've literally told her I'm not bringing it to you. That's your fault. She's never brought it to me. I've driven <laughs> over to go grab it a million times. That hasn't stopped but you when from I asking me. I didn't have me. a car, I was like. <laughs> That's why I said, just order it again. Dude. I know. And I did. <laughs> I did. <laughs> So we're going to listen to your restaurant hot takes again. Yeah. Okay. So this one's from Caitlin. Mm -hmm. She said, it stresses me out when servers don't write your order down and just memorize it. Like they stare so deep into your soul as if we bet money they couldn't do it. Like, it's okay. <laughs> I believe you. Please stop. That just happens as we ate at a restaurant in Disney. That's true. That did just happen to and us. She kept repeating. So every time you added something to the order, she would repeat the whole thing back to you. And like, I don't know. And like, I <laughs> well, there was like 10 of us. So like, I, I know. Yeah, I, I love a queen. I'd rather you write it down. Well, and then she got my order wrong. So I guess you probably should be writing it down. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I love you, queen. But you did a bad job. What did she forget? She forgot my side. Cause Billy asked, can I get this? But with these sides mm -hmm. and she goes, I'll have to ask. And then he goes, okay. And then she literally left. Didn't take the rest of the order. Didn't take the rest of the order. Yeah. Went all the way to the kitchen, gone for 20 minutes, yeah. comes back, says, yeah. And it was supposed to have a side of like mashed potatoes and carrots. Mm -hmm. And, um, she forgot the carrots. <laughs> so that's why I said. And she, uh, and then I, I asked her like yeah. politely, I was like, Oh, um, do you think we could get the carrots too? And she was like, Oh yeah, they should have put those on there. Huh? I must've forgot. And then she went off. You know why she forgot? Cause she didn't write, she it, didn't down. write it down. Sometimes they do just remember. That's cool. That's tea. Um, but that's also really funny that you said it feels like they think I don't believe them. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, yeah, you want mustard? Okay. What else? Yeah. Give it to me. Give I'll remember me. all of it. <laughs> write out the order, list out every ingredient. I'll remember. Like it's a dare. Yeah. <laughs> this next one's from Bear. Okay. And they said the only good food item in Red Robin's menu is the children's square pizza and maybe their fries. Love their strawberry lemonade though. Scrumptious. Wrong. You're so wrong. It's not even funny. The, the fact that you're getting a pizza from Red Robin. Red Robin Gourmet Burgers. That's the full name. <laughs> You're out of your fucking mind. They did just start making like actual pizzas. They're called Donatos. <laughs> did they add them to gourmet burgers and Donatos? No. No, right? No, but even the child's pizza, it literally looks and tastes like uh, Chuck E. Cheese pizza. Yeah, it does. Wrong. It does. Not good. Bad. I can't believe you said, and a kid's meal. That is a hot take, but you're wrong, Bear. Sorry. Yeah, it's a hot take. It's a stupid take. Too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Children's square pizza. What's wrong with Why are you? you getting pizza from Red Robin? Gourmet burgers and fries. <laughs> That's why gourmet burgers and fr Red Robin gourmet burgers and fries. You're ordering a fucking pizza. What the? There's no. You're way. right about that freckled lemonade, though. I'll give you that. Mm -hmm. I do have to put water in it, though. It's like it is so sweet. Syrup. Yeah. 
It's too much. I'm getting a sodi, but too much. I support your journey on the freckled lemonade, though. I agree. <laughs> this next one's from Alyssa. She said, "Not really a restaurant, but Starbucks drinks aren't that good. People are just paying for the name while getting a subpar product." What do you think? You're better than everyone. That's what this gives. <laughs> what do you like, Alfred's? Yeah. Uh, blue bottle. <laughs> you're kind of you're kind of right. You're right. Um, only because I'm in my home coffee era, so like I literally crave coffee from my house. Yeah. When Starbucks I isn't hit as as much as it used yeah, to. Yeah. When I when I travel, I like literally tell they say I wish I could take my Nespresso with me. Okay. What's your Starbucks order? Like we're going in the morning. What are you getting? It's been different lately. Lately, I've been getting um, a cappuccino with two shots, oat milk, and two Splenda. Mm -hmm. Hot. Hot, yeah. Because they can't make it cold. Oh, like, yeah. If I could, I would I get it cold. Right, but right. like... In and the then what's Sani? Because we're going to give them the full... The full well, fancy. I used to be a grilled cheese bitch. Yeah. Um, I did kill that meal for myself because I hyperfixate, as we all know. Too much, yeah. Um, lately I've been getting the pesto panini sandwich or I'll get a baking Gouda if I'm not that hungry. The pesto panini one's kind of big. Yeah. So like if I just kind of want something, Is there but like not chicken too in much. it? I don't remember. Yeah. There's like chicken, tomato, mozzarella, pesto. It's really good. It's like a lunch thing too, too. So like, yeah, but, um, yeah, that's my sandwich of choice or I'll get a, if I don't want a sandwich, I want a pastry. I'll get a, a glass croissant. of coffee cake or a croissant. I used to get the croissant. I um, have stopped. My croissant era is over. Croissants are nasty. I don't like them. I love a butter croissant. Ooh, ooh, ooh. But she doesn't put anything on it. Just eats it like that. It's a butter croissant. There is butter inside of it. You don't have to put ja no like need. jam or jelly on it. Do I look like someone who puts jam or jelly on their croissants? But I'm not asking if you do. I'm asking <laughs> if other people do. Fuck if I know. I know how you eat bread. <laughs> A croissant, though, is the one normal, like a butter croissant is like the one normal pastry I could eat with nothing and people wouldn't look at me weird. Oh, but a plain biscuit, everyone's like, yeah, all everyone's sudden, like, everyone has a problem. <laughs> <laughs> all of a sudden, I'm the enemy. I'm a villain all of a sudden. <laughs> um, no, a classic coffee cake hits every time. I feel that. Love that. What about you? For coffee, I always get a venti ice Americano mm -hmm. with oat milk and two Steve's. <laughs> And then two Stevens, two Stevens, <laughs> Steven Adams. <laughs> shout, Alex. Out, shout out our number one fan, Steven Adams, <laughs> <laughs> our favorite Canadians. <laughs> um, and then, <laughs> that was stupid. <laughs> and then for Sani, I get the grilled cheese. The vegans really, it's a life, it's a lifestyle, not a diet. <laughs> um, I can't eat anything there. And if you say oatmeal, why don't you just punch me in the face? The oatmeal's flames. No, it's yucky. But the oatmeal is good, but if you put those dried cranberries in there, what the fuck's your problem? <laughs> Do you think you're better than me or you're something? Like gravel? That's what I think. You think you're better than me? That's what you think. Really? It's gross. But um, no, I, I used to eat the impossible one, but I can't eat the bread and I can't eat the egg or the cheese. So what do I eat? <laughs> I'm paying $8 for Just a, the patty. a fucking patty. Just the patty. No. Why so, can't you eat the bread? There's milk and eggs in it. Damn. So that's why I do eat the bread. <laughs> and what? And what? Tell them to make it with no cheese because then it won't melt in there and that's harder to pick off the bread. Yeah. So they pick the cheese off, make it, then you just take the egg out and give it to your dad. Yeah, that's let me I tell do. you something. Dason is vegan because she is really allergic to uh, eggs. And milk. And almonds and milk, right? She's like dairy intolerant, yeah. right? But she is allergic to eggs and milk. Yeah. Or no, eggs and um, almonds. Almonds and beer. And yeah, beer, gluten, essentially. They always try to give me beer at Starbucks. It's so weird. I don't understand <laughs> it at all. Yeah. So she's allergic. So when people say that lifestyle shit, it's unfair because it's not accounting for people who are just allergic. Yeah. And, and literally, like, she can't eat vegetarian is my fucking point. You know what I'm saying? Well, and I don't like meat. So that's why I well, decided yeah. to be vegan. And it's better well, for and the environment. She's, and she's tried. You know what I'm saying? Like, it really annoys me when people try to police Dason's eating habits. I'm like, Relax, okay? She has literally, if she has one almond, her fucking My throat, throat swells up. Yeah. So that's why I'm telling you, lay off. Okay. There's quite a bit of slanderous statements in here about Wendy's. Are you ready to hear them? Yeah. So this one's from Michaela, and she said, Wendy's is the worst fucking fast food of all time. <laughs> and anytime I have it, I literally have the most extreme diarrhea and bowel movements ever. That seems like a her thing. Yeah. That's a you thing, Michaela. That seems unrelated, Michaela. I feel like that's a pretty big blanket statement to make. 
<laughs> it gives me diarrhea. <laughs> so it's poor quality. And everyone should hate it. Um, I feel that though. There are certain foods that made me sick one time and now I like can't, I just refuse to eat them. But the nugs, come on. The spicy nugs. Come on. Be serious. I, come on. Their fries are subpar. Like right here, someone named Maya, they said Wendy's has the best nuggets, but the worst fries. That's, that's a good fair. Take. That's a good that's take. That's fair. And that's real. But uh, it gives me diarrhea, so everyone should hate it. <laughs> Wrong. Literally me. You know how many things I eat that give me diarrhea? Literally me. Literally. I would I would never eat again yeah. if that were the case. <laughs> <laughs> Only water. <laughs> and no. we all know how I feel about that. <laughs> No, it's true. I can't wait for like the world's worst podcast host to cut that and be like, this is why it's so bad to wallow women like this. Because she sometimes doesn't like to drink water. <laughs> and that's why I'm like, I've grown up. I drink water all the time now. Yeah, that was but a when phase. I was, but was when I was, <laughs> it was a bit. <laughs> but when I was younger and my dad wasn't like, hey, drink some water. I was going to go off the rails and I didn't care. <laughs> And I paid the price dearly, didn't I? <laughs> um, anywho, back to Wendy's. Yeah. This other person, Emily, uh, she said the Wendy's Junior Frosty for a year card is extremely worth it. That's tea. The Frosties are fucking good. It's just chocolate ice cream. Yeah, but it's the way they make it. It's just so specific. And people are like, you have to dip your fries in your... I'm not doing that. I've done that. It's Don't good. Don't be disgusting. That's how I feel when I hear that. I've done that. That's Don't good. Don't be disgusting. But again, their fries are like... First of all, they're f super fucking salty. And also, they're very like... They're very floppy, even yeah. when you get them fresh. Like, you know how McDonald's fries are rock hard yeah. until they get I cold? My, I want my fries to be erect. <laughs> <laughs> when I put them in my mouth, I, I want, want my them fries, to be erect. I want my fries to be standing at attention. I want them <laughs> I don't to want be rock solid. Who the fuck wants flaccid fries? <laughs> that's that's gross. Why, Wendy's has a floppy fry, and that's why that's why their fries are slandered are being slandered. Yeah. Frosties are are fucking good though. Like when you're in the mood and you get one, it's fucking good. Yeah. My mom used to get the chili. That's strange. People get baked potatoes there and chili. From Wendy's. Remember when that lady put a finger in her chili from Wendy's so then she could to try her? and win a lawsuit? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what I always think of? Something like that. I always think of how like the hot labels on McDonald's coffee yeah. are literally because an old woman sued them because it spilled on her and gave her third degree burns. In her crotch, poor thing. Yeah, and so she sued them for so much money yeah. and she won and then they have to put that label on all their cups now <laughs> because their coffee is scalding fucking hot. Oh man, the way I hate hot things. Like, <laughs> ugh, a hot liquid like infuriates me. Even hot food, like it. And I'm talking temperature, not spice. Like, no, my food has to burn, like melt the inside of my mouth, or I'm not gonna eat it. <laughs> yeah, Dason and Billy are the yeah. same way. Like, they gotta come out the other side with no taste buds. If my food's hot, I get angry. Like, I'm, I literally will cut it open and I'll wait till it cools down. I will not <laughs> eat it like that. I'll wait. I'll wait. <laughs> I'm parked. I'm here all day. <laughs> I got the time. You think I don't? I do. I do. I do. And I'll make the time. <laughs> this next one's from Jordan. This is a really good one. Mm -hmm. She said, paying extra for alternative milks is annoying. And seriously, cow milk gives me bubble guts. Why do I have to pay one to two dollars extra? That's too every. And you know what? It's so common now. Why are they still doing that? I agree. Because they even say, oh, well, that's a dollar extra. I don't give a fuck. I don't. wanted like those chewy shirts that said the guac is extra. <laughs> I wanted to say oat milk is extra. <laughs> yeah. Dude, if you put 2% in there, I will kill myself in front of you. Yeah. <laughs> I because, will cause a scene. Because I'm going to die anyways on the fucking toilet later. I haven't had cow's milk in I don't know how long. And I fear if I were to ever accidentally get it. You know what? I probably had it that one night that I ate that mac and cheese. And then I was fighting for my life on Christmas Eve. I was going to say, what time was that? Because you do that. On Christmas Quite Eve. Lot. I know the story. Yeah. It was so bad. Dason came and checked on me at two in the morning. She got completely undressed on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> I showered twice. <laughs> you know what? It's like so bad that you're like, I need to shower. Because I feel like I was like sinful. Crawling, I was crawling through the mud. Like, and you know what I'm saying? Like, just like in the trenches that's how it felt like disgusting. i showered two fucking times 
Not because I needed to necessarily. I just felt like I had to. I feel that. I feel that. I felt a duty and an obligation to wash myself <laughs> after that. After that fucking episode that I had. It was my American duty. And I was wrapping presents at the same time. But she was on there all <laughs> fucking gross. That's why I bro. said. I've made this joke so many times. And every time I do, people laugh so hard because they they understand. But it's like when you're when you're shitting so bad and your stomach hurts so bad that you well, first of all, you get fully undressed, mm -hmm. but then also like you can't even look at your phone. Yeah. That's the worst feeling. And then you're like praying and saying, I'll never eat dairy ever again. Yeah, God, you're like, please. I'm sorry if you make it stop now. I will not eat dairy please. ever again. Please, yeah. Like you're literally, you can't even look at your phone. Yeah. And you're like, like keeled over, yeah. like, and completely nude. Yeah. <laughs> no bra. Why no, is that nothing. off? Why is that off? Complete. But your socks are still on because <laughs> the tile's cold. <laughs> no way, dude. I take my socks off so I can cool my body down. <laughs> Girl, that's a pressure point down yeah. there. <laughs> Gotta ice it. Literally, acupuncture point. You gotta, <laughs> yeah. you gotta cool down the dog so you're poofing like that. It <laughs> sends your body into shock and Dude. then it'll stop the diarrhea. That's I'm like I'm digging in the in the drawer next to me. It's at my parents' house. I'm digging in the drawer next to me because there's hair ties in there so I can put my fucking hair up. <laughs> because it's so violent and volatile. <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> I'm sober. Yeah, like leaning to the side. All, you know, you're like, yeah, yeah, you're like rummaging through the drawer. I like find a clip that's a million years old and I like put my hair like this and just clip it. You know what I'm saying? Holy fuck, dude. So fucking bad. Because <laughs> if your hair is touching your neck, that's even worse. <laughs> that's, that's <me. laughs> what the fuck? That's a you thing. <laughs> You're laughing because you know. No, I'm laughing because, yeah, because of the bathroom. I'm imagining you <laughs> in the bathroom. Mommy Someone's going to validate me. Oh, man. You ever have diarrhea so bad you have to put your hair on? <laughs> no. <laughs> like you're working out? <laughs> no. Girl, come on. I've never had diarrhea like that where I have to put my hair if Dude, I Dude, Dason, up, Dason's yeah. sitting here lying <laughs> to me, bitch. I've never actually had to get completely undressed. I've taken like my pants and chonies off, but that's <laughs> it. I only take my bra or top off. It's mostly because like when I sleep, I sleep in like a big t-shirt and like pants. Yeah. You know what I mean? When it's cold. No, I understand. And so if I get hot, I could just take the pants off. Yeah. But I um, don't need to take my top off. That's just you <laughs> or put my hair up. Someone's going to get yeah, me. Validate you. Yeah. You know, I hope not. I hope it's just you. <laughs> I know for a fact that's a universal experience because I've, Made that joke, not the hair part, but that's someone will get it. What are your thoughts on the squatty potty? I never used it. You don't like it? I just think I'm already, it's humiliating enough that I'm on the toilet for as long as I am. I don't need the show. <laughs> I, honestly, I don't need, I don't need to present myself in, with the fanfare. Let's go back a little bit. So you said how long you're in the bathroom when you're pooping. Sometimes I just be in there. Not even sometimes. That's me and Billy make that joke all the time. When He's one to talk. <laughs> And I'll say that in front of you. If he wants to talk about me, I'm going to talk about him. He's one to talk, bitch. So I'm the fastest pooper that this yeah, but sh if she country has, to, has ever seen. If she has to pee, though, she'll be in there for 30 minutes. I like, have to make sure it all gets out. She'll just sit there. That's why I'm like, okay, opposites. But when you're in there for a minute, me and Billy, go, she's probably in there pooping. And he goes, I know. <laughs> I'm allowed to have me time. <laughs> and if that's the only place I get it, so be it. But uh, back to the squatty potty. I can't shit unless I have one. I love the squatty potty. It doesn't feel like I poop all the way or or correctly. I just don't. I don't need. I don't need that. I know. That's all. <laughs> I get that. That's a personal preference. And I know. I know too that it gets to a point where you like need it. So then people start put like putting shit under their feet. Yeah. If they couldn't bring it, or they with wear them. heels to the bathroom. Yeah. Like yeah. they just prop their feet up. On I know. Something. Like, like if we're gonna stay at the hotel this weekend, I'm not gonna wear shoes. Like I'll just poop as I gotta poop. I can't believe we all have to share one room. That's gonna be kind of insane. I know. I can try and ask. <laughs> If Pedro Pascal's staying there, see. I can share a room with him if he's open to it. <laughs> Roomies. What floor are you staying on? What if that's what I ask him when I see him? What room are you in? You're I in this hotel, me. right? <laughs> what room? I'll come by. It's cool. I'll ask you later. It's okay. He doesn't you, want to talk to me You can tell anymore. me when the camera's off. You can tell me when the camera's off. It's fine. So, I was going to make this joke if I get to talk to him. I was going to make a joke and I was going to tell him like, if I had the time, I hope he compliments your nails. That's like the bit going around right now. Oh, that's right. I saw your thing. 
Um, no, I was going to ask him, um, do you die in the last episode? Whisper it to me. I know it comes and if out you in do, a few hours. And no pressure, but if you do, I will kill myself. So that's on you. But but again, I don't care either way. It's in your court. <laughs> I was going to say, Carrie texted me. She said her friend works at BuzzFeed and that he was there the other day. At the Oscars? No. P- Pedro Pascal was at BuzzFeed. Oh, yeah. probably doing like a thirst it's trap. It's like a um, sweet thing, huh? She sent me the meme that's like, I don't really care if something good happened to you. It should have happened to me instead. That's, <laughs> that's going to be me if you get to meet him and I don't get to be there. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> just saying. Um, okay. Ready for the next one? Yeah. Um, oh, okay. So Drew hates Dunkin' Donuts. I do. I'm a proud Dunkin' Donut hater. I know all the East Coasters are going to be like, Whoa. I you guys, care. I'm if I'm man enough to admit that Starbucks is not that good and I just go because it's there. Yeah. Then you can also admit that Dunkin' is not good. Also, why are your donuts so trash? You name a whole franchise after donuts and they taste like ass. Why is that? Why is that? I, it's funny you bring that up because I was going to ask you what food items have you had from there? Because I went through a Dunkin' phase and it's nasty. I've had a donut. It was trash. I didn't finish it. They I have, had. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I haven't tried the avocado toast. I've I have. Seen it. And it's that spread that, that comes in the Damn. little cup. So it doesn't taste like avocados at all. It just tastes like salty green stuff. <laughs> I hate that stuff. That's why they're like, oh, you can get avocado spread at, at Starbucks. You mean salty green mush? I don't want that. No, thank you. No, thank you. That could be peas for all you know. Huh. Um, Have you had a Sani or anything from there? No, I've never had a sandwich. I think I've had like a muffin. No, not a muffin. I've had some other pastry from there. Okay. So they have these things called hash brown bites. And we all know how much I love hash browns. Yeah. That's why you're my motor bound. Bean freak. Fry freak. Potato freak. freak. There Mm -hmm. you go. That's the new one. Yeah. So they have hash brown bites. They're those little coins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hash brown. the potato, Like the ones at Jack in the Box? Yes, but these ones are disgusting. What? I cannot emphasize that enough. How do you fuck up enough. a hash brown? It literally, I don't, I can't tell you how many times I've had them. Like, let's just, <laughs> just trying it every time. I got to make sure every time I go. <laughs> That's like in Who Remembers in Glee when uh, Puckerman is trying to like uh, hit up Lauren Zeiss. Okay. And then he gives her chocolates mm-hmm. for Valentine's oh, yeah, Day. Yeah. And then she's like, these chocolates, you got me sucked. And then he goes, you ate all of them. And she goes, I had to make sure they all sucked. Remember Santana would say that when they would eat at that restaurant? Like she would eat all her food. And she was like, it was so gross. I'm not paying for this. Like, yeah. Yeah. I remember that. <laughs> I had to make sure they all sucked. Yeah. I I, so that. every time I go, I have to try the hash brown bites. They literally all the food there. Cause I've had the wraps. I've had the sandwiches. This was before I was vegan. Yeah. I've had all that stuff. It all tastes like it's coated in plastic. Yeah. Every time. Like cafeteria food. Worse. Or like bad. Worse. Worse. Yeah. Holy shit. It tastes like plastic. It I've only like- ever tried the pastries because like both times were negative and I'm like, I'm not getting salty food from there. No, Fuck it's that. It's so gross. And their coffee sucks ass too. I know. Like, so Jocelyn had the nerve to say that Dunkin' Donuts hash brown bites are better than McDonald's hash browns. Wrong. That's so Wrong. insane. McDonald's hash browns are so fucking good. I just wish they were crispier. McDonald's does everything good and I don't give a fuck <laughs> what anybody says. Unless it's healthy food, they don't do that very well, but that's not why you go to McDonald's. I agree. You know what I mean? When you go to McDonald's, you're trying to eat like shit and who gives a fuck, right? Yeah. But I literally was reintroduced recently to the hot cakes from McDonald's. Yeah, I agree. I eat them like slabs of bacon oh wait you're talking about the pancakes yep the hot cakes that's what they're called it's gross you're wrong i take back what no you they're said. really good something else no mcdonald's hot cakes are good Mm-mm. i just fold them up like a little taco wrong and i eat them bare you're wrong <laughs> wrong they're super good she can't eat them anyways the fuck even when i could so I thought they were she nasty. don't know so she don't know okay this one's from alicia she said that seafood slash seafood boils are overrated and i don't understand the hype about them Anytime I tell someone I don't like seafood, they look at me like I'm crazy. You're she, but y'all are literally eating ocean bugs. I would say sushi is the only exception. That's the food of my people, first of all. <laughs> uh I love fucking sea. I love seafood. I'm gonna go fuck what anyone I says. Used to, yeah, when I eat meat, I used to like shrimp. I love seafood. I love a seafood boil. You just gotta get it from the right place. Cause if you get it from from a different like a wrong place mm-hmm. it's like not worth like the juice isn't worth the squeeze you know mm-hmm. what i mean when you eat it because like that's why billy says like crab and like lobster mm-hmm. he'll always say like 
it's like not worth it to me. It's like too much work for not enough meat. I agree. Um, but if you get a seafood boil from a good place, it's fucking flames. Like he wanted that once and we got one for like his birthday a couple years ago. And we ate it on the table. Like we put down paper and shit and we just emptied it all. But they gave you like the corn, the potatoes, all the different seafoods. There's like scallops in there and shit. Yeah. It was fucking good. I love seafood. But a seafood boil has to be seasoned properly. I agree. Sometimes I see seafood boils and there's no seasoning on it whatsoever. It's fucking gross. Yeah. It's like um, they got to have Cajun. That's why the kicking crab. I loved the kicking crab. And then we went once and it wasn't very good. But they season the fuck out of everything. Yeah. It's so fucking good. But um, they have really good Cajun fries, too. I love a Cajun fry. Yeah, me too. I agree. I just love spicy shit. That's why. But me and my dad are like the seafood lovers in our family. Yeah, we my mom for, doesn't really like we seafood. for her dad's birthday. And I didn't realize like they don't pull the heads off anything. Or no, whatever. yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and that's when you see meat. I'm not doing that. Me and, uh, me and my dad are like the seafood lovers. My brother doesn't like seafood. My mom doesn't really either. And Jason's a vegan. So, but Billy loves seafood, so we love to eat that. Like mussels and stuff. Oysters. People hate those. What? Oysters. They're disgusting. They're so good. If you get them like, if you get them raw and then you put like Tabasco or Tapatio in there and squeeze some lemon. Ooh, delicious. Because mm, they're still alive when you're eating them. Yeah, well. I don't want to eat anything like that. <laughs> this next one's from Carla. What? <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna say um about that, like I forgot what I was gonna say. I was gonna say something about oysters and shit. Oh, I was gonna say um texture eaters. That's a nightmare. So I get that. I just don't want to eat anything that's still alive. What's wrong with that? Like alive. Whatever. It's alive. <laughs> How do you know? Did you ask him? No, but they everyone says they are. Okay, anyways. This next one's from Carla. <laughs> uh she said I think that B-dubs is whack and Wingstop is better. That's true. Billy said one of the most profound things when I first started dating him. A boneless wings or chicken nuggets? Mm, wrong, but I don't care. And I've said this before. I will eat boneless wings every time. And I don't give a fuck what anybody when says. When I see me, I would eat those too. I agree. They're, they're easier. But they're nuggies. They're well, literally nuggets. Whatever the fuck you want to call it. You want to call it popcorn chicken. You want to call it a tendy. You want to call it a nug. I don't give a fuck. It's literally a nug. I'm not getting one with bones. It's too much work. And I, I have long nails and all the sauce gets under my nails. It's fucking horrible. I just think when you eat them like that, it's creating a scene that you don't need to create, you know? Like fajitas. Yeah. Yeah. Fanfare for no reason. And then I saw someone. I saw it. I know. I saw they, they spray the water around. It's not even that hot <laughs> which makes me even more mad because it's like you don't have to do that so i don't have to leave this restaurant smelling like that you just well, do you don't have to purpose. put me on the spot like that you could just bring me my fucking food <laughs> but anyways um billy once said if wingstop had b-dub flavors it would be over uh which is so true because b-dubs or b-dubs has shit wings and shit but like their flavors are much better like they have way more options yeah wingstop has a much better fucking tendy and shit or yeah. wing bigger thicker they're not as dry but their sauces aren't as good i agree wingstop is superior it's the very ranch good. at wingstop supposed to be really good i've never i can't try billy it, loves that they have a good honey mustard too they have some spicy ass wings too like i've gotten like they have like a korean barbecue flavor which is so good but if you eat a lot of them in one it's like you know what i mean you have like you're in the korean barbecue um like kettle chips Yes. From Kettle. It's oh, so, good. so good. So good. Okay, this one's from Cadence. Mm -hmm. um, she said, please don't talk while we're eating. I like to eat in peace. Thanks. What are your thoughts on that? I'm a multitasker, so I like to talk and yeah. eat. But like, I feel it though. Yeah. It's more so when you're like really into your meal and someone wants to talk to you a lot or or requires a lot of um response mm -hmm. from you. Whereas like, if you're just listening, you could eat away. Yeah. That's like when uh when I had Leo on my show mm. and he said one of his pet peeves is like when you're eating and you're with your friend and they start telling you a story and he goes and like we both have our food. I'm going to eat even if you're talking. <laughs> and he goes, so like they've been talking for so long and I'm still eating and I finished my plate. And they're like, oh, someone was hungry. <laughs> he goes, you just haven't fucking eaten. It's like, like you, you just don't need to say that to me. Minutes. Yeah. He's like, you don't need to say that to me. It's getting cold. Like, yeah. That's what he's like. I'm going to eat while you talk. <laughs> <laughs> what 
What are your thoughts on pineapple on pizza? I think it's disgusting. Yeah, I mean, it's not my choice, if I'm being real. Yeah. Um, I will say, though, lately I've been willing to try it again. Only because there are lots of foods I used to fucking hate when I was a kid, and I like them now. What about PB&J? No, I've tried it as an adult, and I, I will always hate peanut butter and jelly. If peanut butter and jelly has one hater, it's me. <laughs> if they have none, I'm dead. But anyways, uh, I kind of wanted to try it again just to see if I liked it. No. But I don't believe I will, mostly because I feel like it's too mushy. Well, and I too don't much mush. sweet and savory don't belong together, in my opinion. They should be separate. Always. They do to me in very specific circumstances. So like salted caramel. Yuck. <laughs> Disgusting. Would you like chocolate chip cookies when they put sea salt on them? No, it's too much. All you taste is salt. What's the fucking point? Like, what's the that makes me so mad because then when they do it, the salt is so big. You see yeah. like big chunks. Flakes. Yeah, they're like big fucking pills of salt. Like, what the fuck? Get this shit. I'm not even kidding. I've had a salted chocolate chip and I've scraped <laughs> off the salt because it makes me angry. Why the fuck are you putting that it's there? It's too much. Yeah, that I hate. A chocolate covered pretzel? I'll no, fuck that's up. That's different. You're right. You're right. I I'll see fuck it. up. I see it. Yeah. That's what I said. In very specific circumstances, I'm cool with it. Honestly, that's the only approved one so far. I don't know. Covered pretzels. I do like a sweet and savory just depends. But remember I told y'all I always have to end on salty. That's what I'm saying. Like when they make maple bar donuts and put bacon on it. Why? No, no, <laughs> no. When they order me, sometimes like I'll tell people I have like maple bars and then they get me that. I'm like, why don't you just, why don't you forget about me? Like just forget my order entirely. Like, don't bring me anything at all. <laughs> don't tell, piss me off. Don't piss me off. Like they bring me that. I'm like, do you tell me? <laughs> What do you fucking take me for a fool? That's like <laughs> so annoying. And I'm talking about my family, not fans. No one's ever brought me a donut. <laughs> that girl, that girl, that one girl on tour yeah, in San Francisco, Francisco. She brought us plain maple bars, and they were bomb. Great. They yeah. were wonderful. I just want to clarify. I can get mad at my own family. <laughs> I would never get mad at one of you. I would never get mad at one of you. Um. Yeah, I'm trying to think about yeah, salty sweet is just it's so specific to me. Yeah. Cause sometimes I'm like, why the fuck did they put that? Like I get so angry. That's what I'm saying. Salted any like salted caramel, salted chocolate chip. All you taste is salt. I taste nothing else. Yeah. So just call this salt. <laughs> <laughs> like this is a, a salty treat. <laughs> this is a salt latte. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, oh, why did they so do mad. that? I don't know. Get it out of here. I don't want it. I don't yeah. want it. I don't want it. Throw it in the trash. I don't want it. That's a hot take right there. It makes me so mad. Like, that's why it's the same thing. I ha that's how I feel too about like, um, <laughs> when someone told me, uh, when I, when I lit the internet on fire about my PB and J taking that everybody was asking me my opinions on food. And one of them was like talking about cake. And I was like, I, I don't like cake. Like if I have to choose, I'm not choosing cake as a dessert, but if I was going to choose, it's never going to be chocolate cake ever. Yeah. It's just too much for me. I don't like it. It's literally grease. Yeah, it's just too much. Like, like when some, you eat it and it slides on your throat and it makes it feel fuzzy. I don't want to eat stuff. Like that. <laughs> it's just too much. Like it's too much yeah. decadence. I don't like it. Like it doesn't taste good. But like a brownie sundae, like that's good to I me. I love brownies. I love brownies too. Like that's good. You know who has great brownies? Which which restaurant had a really good brownie that we went to as kids? A good Ready? brownie? Yeah. Like it was like an option for the dessert bar. Ready? <laughs> Ready? Uh, three, oh. three, two, one. Soup plantation. <laughs> I was so nervous for a second. I wasn't going to think of it. No, I knew you would. You said dessert bar and that's how yeah. I know. Soup yeah. plantation. I didn't like the brownies, but you did. They were really good. Yeah. Uh, they had cornbread too, but that's another thing that pisses me off. Don't put corn in the corn, bread. Corn kernels in cornbread? No. What the fuck is wrong no. with you? Then they're like, well, it's not cornbread. I don't give a fuck. Give me the jiffy. I don't care. Yeah, I don't okay. care. I don't care. I don't want to hear it. You could very easily make cornbread from scratch without putting the kernels in that bitch. That's a salty sweet thing, too. That's what I feel about carrot cake when they put pieces of carrot in the cake. <laughs> <laughs> That's gross. Yeah. Carrot cake is real iffy to me. Like it's got to be made really well for me to like carrot that cake. That cream cheese frosting. Mm. So <sighs> yeah okay. cream cheese frosting is very iffy for me but we're gonna end on this one are you ready yeah this is from katie 
And she said, this is more of a fast food hot take, but I don't like the Mexican pizza from Taco Bell. (laughs) Taco Bell in general is insanely mid and it's never my first choice. Would rather have authentic Mexican for the same price. Well, that just sounds like (laughs) I'd rather have authentic Mexican. Well, duh. When you go to Taco Bell, you don't want authentic Mexican. You go for the vibes. You go because you're fucked up or nothing else is open. That's like the only time you go to Taco Bell. But like. That's why I said it gives what it gives. I expect nothing more from her. What do you, Drew loves the Mexican pizza. I I do. That was my my go to thing. Then they got rid of it, and then um, the she cat brought it back. <laughs> yeah, but a crunch wrap supreme. That's yeah. where I live now. Yeah. I've recently tried the new uh, Mexican pizza. It's just not the same. No, I don't know why. I don't know if it's changed or maybe I was just I think like you're just older now and realize it's gross. No, it's still good. Like it, it was good. It gave me what it needed to give me. But at the same time, I was like, I could have got a crunch wrap. Like crunch wraps are way better. And Billy makes a fire crunch wrap. Yeah. When we were in the pandemic, like he was like home making a lot of stuff that we really wanted to eat, but like restaurants were closed. Mm -hmm. And uh, he made crunch wraps at home and they were fucking good. I agree. And they were I so I didn't have any, but he, I agree. He made them like this thick. It looked like a fucking Yeah, when our uncle makes them, that's how they are. They're crazy. Fucking so good. And for meat, he uses tater tots. <laughs> <laughs> I recommend making them at home. A crunch trap at home is honestly fucking so good. I agree. But anywho, um, I get why you hate it. It's a texture nightmare. If you're a texture person, the Mexican pizza is not for you. It makes the little chip soggy. That's my point. That's Ugh. what I'm saying. If if you're a texture eater, like yeah. the Mexican pizza is a nightmare. Don't try it mm-hmm. if you ever want it. If you ever missed out on the experience and you're a texture eater, don't worry about it. Yeah. You would hate it. <laughs> okay, we're actually, okay, I'm going to do one more. Okay. So Stacy said that she thinks the Carl Jr.'s Beyond Burger is better than Burger King's Impossible Whopper. And you're wrong. We'll end right there. <laughs> you're wrong. Impossible Meat is way better than Beyond Meat. Yeah, Dayson said that forever. Way better. I've thrown up Beyond Me way more than Impossible Me. And it's not because it makes me sick. It's because of my anxiety. But, <laughs> <laughs> but coming up, it didn't taste the same. Yeah. No. Burger King. <laughs> the I mean, Burger King is Burger King. Um, it's Again, not, gives what it needs to. Yeah. But the Impossible one is way better than Beyond. Even though I eat the Beyond one way more because I don't live near a Burger King. But you're wrong. <laughs> And that's and that's and I've always said that. How does it feel to be wrong? I will say one of my favorite plant based um re- like fast food restaurants is called like Plant Powered or something. That one's really good. Monty's is really good, even though it hurt my tummy the other day. But I think that was also anxiety. That was just anxiety. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think what else. And then honestly, Taco Bell is one of the easiest restaurants to make vegan. That's when, true. When you go through there, so you get a, I get a Crunchwrap Supreme with black beans and guacamole. Crunch wraps are fucking good. Like, oh, and then sometimes they'll put those potatoes in there because I'll get the little oh, yeah. potato tacos. Yeah, with no cheese or sauce, it's just lettuce and potatoes. It's still good. And I think those little sauce packets. And the sauce is fucking flames. Well, I was, gonna, I was gonna say I think it's nasty. So it's good. I don't like that hot sauce taste. That's why I can't. The eat mild like is why. Like I'll eat a pico de gallo, but I'm not gonna eat it. No, sauce. the mi- the mild has the flavor, but not the heat. No, I know, but I don't like how I just said I don't like how it tastes. Oh, okay. I don't even care about. The I spice. thought you were saying like a sauce that's like you know like how some hot sauces are just hot; they don't have any flavor. I don't like. I that. hate those, and I don't like how hot sauce that isn't that hot. It just gives the hot sauce taste. I don't like how that. Tastes. It doesn't taste like hot sauce. You just said it does. No, I'm saying it has a flavor. It has more flavor. It adds oh, flavor. flavor. Yeah, it, it doesn't flavor. taste like hot sauce. No, I don't believe you. I think Tabasco yeah. is what hot sauce tastes like. Yes. Yeah, it doesn't taste like that. Mild doesn't. I don't know about the extra hot one. Oh, but. okay. Maybe I'll try it. Yeah. It's good. It adds flavor. That's what I'm saying. I like like Valentina's is a great one. Tapatio is a great one. I don't like how they taste. Those don't taste like hot sauce. I don't believe it. They Tabasco is trash, but like. There's a taste that they have in there that I don't like. Okay. Well then just say that. I did. No, you just keep saying <laughs> that they taste like hot sauce. They taste bad. But they you don't, want me to say they yes. taste bad. <laughs> Yucky. All I right. don't like them. Whatever. She can't handle spice anyway, so it doesn't matter. So sometimes Jason will be like, that's just her being a hater. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes Jason I want to be part of the club. She but goes, I can't. It's so spicy. And I try and I'm like, it's not spicy at all. Like what? You've done that to me several I know, times. I'm, just <laughs> I'm gaslighting you. I do love Name I do, one. I love spice though. I really do love spice. Yeah. But sometimes Oh, like, did you watch Pedro Pascal's Hot Ones? Was it no, good? No, I haven't watched it yet. I want to watch it on the big screen, which I is in my room with the door closed. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
in my weed pen. <laughs> I'm so curious to know how it went. I watched like, clips of it. He's just so bomb. Yeah. Whoever Pedro Pascal's stylist is, yeah. give that person a raise. Give yeah, them a billion it. dollars. That outfit that he wore to the Mandalorian premiere with yeah. the red pants and the brown cardigan. The cardigan, yeah. I wanted him to punch me in the face. I saw. He's never looked that good. I think punch I me sent in the face. you. I think I sent you a TikTok of this guy who like analyzes style evolutions and celebrities. He's just so bomb. And he was like, he was showing before pictures, like before, before like the huge Pedro Pascal like movement yeah. of, of social media. Um, and he was like, see, like this person was styling him in a way that's very like white. Like mm-hmm. it's very like, you know, regular tie, a suit, all that kind of I stuff. I love when they dress them to match their personality. Yeah. So and then, then he, they can be themselves. Then he flipped yeah. it to the Mandalorian premiere and he's like, this is much more his energy. It doesn't age him. Like when he was, when they were dressing him like in the suits, it like ages him. Yeah. But then he's like, but now like his new stylist, like whoever it is, has been dressing him in ways that it's still his demographic but it's not aging him if that makes sense so it's like he's not dressing trying to dress young necessarily Mm. but like it's more like it matches his personality no the ones with like they match his glasses to his outfits but on hot ones he wore like a matching red like two-piece like i saw that suit or whatever not a suit but it was like an outfit i want to ask him what's his prescription and can I wear your glasses? Okay. All right, guys. What a great note to end it on. Pedro Pascal. <laughs> I can't get enough of him. He's the let only me know man how, for me. Uh, come, come let me know how the Oscars went. I know. I'm sure they Comment went great. Comment down below. How your favorite go. part. Did it go well? My favorite part was when Drew got to go. <laughs> Wait, but I get to go too. <laughs> yeah, Daisy's I'm so there. excited. I cried when she asked me. Anyways. Okay, <laughs> so that's going to do it for this week's episode of Two Idiot Girls. If you enjoyed it, you can watch more episodes on our YouTube channel. You can only stream all of our episodes everywhere you listen to podcasts. Yes. Please be on the look out on our Instagram because we will be posting the next link for whatever the topic is. Next time. We have yet to pick it yet, but we will let you know. So make sure you look there. Mm-hmm. But other than that, we hope you have a great week and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.